Okay. So now you see okay. this. So basically, the all the API testing is done, and this all the backend means backend testing is done. They are already connected with the database. So typically, what people do, people just run the normal database query. That's not actually the real. You run the query based on the data you have just created, based on the testing you have just performed. And that's exactly the real. You do this and you will be doing it any project you go. So we are going to use the same data that you have created. We are going to verify on the database, but before we verify, we'll be talking about the database, a little bit details. So go, go ahead, go to the okay. database. Uh, before oh. we do this, uh, we, we, we didn't show the monitoring. So okay. we can okay. show the monitoring, then we can go to the okay, database. Go okay, sure. Okay, so to create uh, monitors on the postman, uh, we have to click on the monitors from the sidebar. Then uh, click on the create a monitor. Okay, then give the monitor name. So we can give any name here, like uh, FFM API. Monitor. So okay. monitoring, this monitoring is super important. This is actually the, uh, the cloud ops engineer do. Uh, this is technically is called a synthetic monitoring. Okay. Because um, in the production, you already see the everything is happening, user is using. But we actually, each of the API we monitor in the staging environment. The purpose is so that if any of the API is down, that you can catch the issues right away. Of course, API can be down because as you are developing the, the more and more API, uh, more and more like the system, the adding the more functionality, things are down. You will not believe many of the many, at least, I don't know the hand count, many of our functionality in the TS4, it does not work. I cannot say works because we do not monitor each of the functionality, we do not have the automation. But this type of monitoring, if you create the API monitoring and you monitor them, you can find the issues right away. Okay, either bug or the services, like some type of things is happening is not working. So monitoring is actually the part of the CICD, part of the actually the DevOps engineer, one of the core role. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So after that, we can create the collection. So let's create the collection, the first one. Then this you is show the, the collection. Uh, you do not create yeah. the collection, you show the collection that you have created. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you did it, okay? Then this is the just the tag, and then we have to select the environment. So select the staging environment. Then uh, like this one is for the, like if you want to pass in a CSV, and then this is the monitor time. Uh, so here, if we want to put the time, we can put the time, uh, like uh, our time, then every hour or every two hours, we can select the time like this, okay? Then uh, also it will just automatically it will select the region. It's by default it is this, and then receive email notifications for run failures and errors. Like if we get any failure, we can give the email address and it will send us the email uh, to this address. Okay. So you can add you can add more emails. You can add uh, more emails who who wants to receive. Normally this type of time we do the group email means you create a group and then you add all the development team member in that group. So email triggered to the group so that everybody receive the email. Instead of you are sending, you are adding one by one email ID. And the next is like a, a what is called the how many, after how many times you are sending the email. So which is a, a consecutive, consecutive failures and then retry if run fail. Of course, sometimes it fail. So you can give the, uh, if fail one time, you just retry again, so it will run again. And the set, set request timeout, if you can give a specific timeout, a specific time, then it will be actually, it will not run anymore. You can give the delay again, right? You did, or the in between, like the one 1,000 millisecond means one second. You can do this and follow the redirection. If you have the redirection means from one URL to another URL and enable SSL validation. If you do not have the SSL, you do not need to. Okay, yeah, and then click on the create monitor. Okay, so if I run this, it will run. 
uh, here you can see it's by uh, manually running but uh, after every one hour it will run automatically uh, that's either you actually the main thing yeah so collection nana we clicked it right we click the collection and we run it but here it is actually scheduled already every two hours it will run after running and then it will send you the email whether pass or fail that's actually the true automation you manual tested it you designed the whole automation and you actually did everything now it's monitoring it's healthy it will be running all the time you can since it is running every two hours you're good in the 12 hours it is running in the 24 hours it is running 12 times normally what do we do before the code deployment we run the the automation after the code deployment we run the automation why so that we can find the bug oh before it was working fine after the code new code it broke so at least we know that something is wrong so you can learn the more details from this uh, it actually run the same thing same thing we're running on the collection and it, of course it is reporting uh, since it will be running continuously every two hours it will give you a report how many time what is the percentage overall percentage that your system health this is the way we know how the system is behaving so if you have a 200 apis on the 10 features and then you can see it in health, five features are very healthy. And the four features are uh, the failure here and there. So now you can make a, like the summarize, these four features we, we, we are seeing, the consistently failure or inconsistent failure, or most of the time the failure on these features. So that now that we have the data, right? So that development team can start looking into the API, the why it is failing. So that's actually the continuous run create the report, I mean the your test outcome based on the reporting. Now we have the data, we actually make the decision what we need to do. You cannot just run one time and make a decision system is not working or system is working. No, we run the duration, a period of time. And then we observe, we collect the report and report tells us what failed. Oh, each time this API is failure. Each time these two API is failure. Each time that service is always failing, that feature is failing. So now that we have the data and the monitoring actually gives you the data. Based on the data, we actually start improving the system. Either uh, updating the API, creating the new features or updating the database or improving the application backend. Anything happens after the, we have the data through the monitoring. Thank you. <laughs>